Hey guys, I want to provide a quick review of a book that I recently got my hands on and this is uh, Automated Machine Learning with Autokeras. And why did I pick it up? Well, I picked it up because I like to learn about anything that makes my life easy when it comes to defining my neural network models for a given challenge. And Autokeras, I'm a big fan of it because I have already done a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. You can search for it on this channel. Uh, and uh, I, I really wanted to learn a bit more about it. And I'm one of those who learns by reading books. So I just uh, went ahead and picked up this book. Now. If you are one of those who are researching the deep learning models and you're trying to come up with uh, you know new models, obviously you're an advanced user with a focus on engineering your deep learning, this is not the book. Uh, this is definitely not the book for you. But if you are, uh, if you have an application in hand, if you want to solve that application, whether it is uh, uh, you know, I don't know, image classification or text classification, regression and so on, uh, and you're looking for the best model for your specific application, then this is where auto machine learning or auto keras in general can, uh, uh, can help you. So uh, this book in, uh, actually does a good job in explaining the basics of auto keras and uh, it also provides examples for the ones, uh, for the tasks that I just mentioned, which is image, text, classification, and regression. Now, please remember that this book is definitely not a resource uh, for you to learn Python or deep learning in general, but it's a narrowed focus only on auto keras. Okay, so if your interest is in uh, learning more about Autokeras, uh, maybe this book can uh, uh, can help you. Now, I've already made a few videos, like I mentioned, about uh, on the topic of Autokeras, but uh, I thought I should just pick one example from this book to show you the simplicity of uh, the code when you involve Autokeras. Okay, and again, uh, remember, Autokeras can be used whenever you don't know what model is the best one for your uh, for your challenge so you can automate the search for the best model and also for hyperparameters and so on yeah so anytime you again that's that's exactly why it's called auto machine learning and auto keras yeah so let me quickly jump into google colab to show you a few lines of code again that i extracted from this book please read this if you want more examples but uh, let me just quickly show you uh, an example so you appreciate the simplicity of uh, Autokeras. So let me jump to my uh, notebook here on Google Colab. Why Google Colab? Because I absolutely thank them for providing me a free GPU that I can use. Okay, uh, the step number one, as you can imagine, is installing uh, the Autokeras library, and it's as simple as just pip install Autokeras. So go, you can go ahead and run this. I have already done that, so you don't waste your time uh, watching me do this task on the screen. And then it's a matter of importing your libraries, and the most important, Autokeras as AK. This is what we are trying to import, and everything else are supporting like Matplotlib and TensorFlows, and uh, of course we are going to work with MNIST dataset because this is the hello world of deep learning, as you know. So let's go ahead and import all of these. And the next step is loading the MNIST dataset. And as you probably know, when you load it, it loads it, uh, you get your training and testing datasets. And as you can see down here, you have 60,000 training images and 10,000 testing images, uh, each to 28 by 28. Uh, and I normally plot these. Again, these are a couple of uh, images, one for training, one from the testing set, just to see exactly how the data looks like, right? So this is a visualization purposes. So far, no Autokeras, but now let's use Autokeras to sweep the world of uh, machine learning models and find the best one for this. Now, you can, you can change the max trials to, I don't know, uh, 10, 50, if you don't give this parameter, then I believe the default max trials is 100. So it's, it scans for 100 different models. Remember, it can be very slow because each epoch, uh, time you're doing 20 epochs. Okay, so uh, right now I just did one max trial, so it, it went through and then it found uh, it found the best model <laughs> with one, but again, please explore more. So once it's done, now I can just uh, take my assign whatever that best model is to a parameter called model and print out the summary. So I've already trained it, so I can show you the summary, and as you can see, the last layer, it's using softmax. 10 classes because my MNIST dataset has 10 classes, digits zero to nine, okay? And that's it, the model is trained and this is it. When it comes to uh, defining your model, these are the lines. And this is finding the best model for you. 
and now we are printing it and now we can go ahead and use it put it in production so first of all before using it we want to know what the accuracy is so let's go ahead and print out the accuracy for this model and it's 99.1 percent that's that's amazing of course this is mnish data set and uh uh, uh we uh, we appreciate this type of uh, accuracy on these so finally let's test it how well is it working so i wrote a few lines of code i changed this part slightly uh, from what what got published in the book but again go through uh, go through the exercises from the book if you want to learn more about it but uh, all i'm doing is picking a random random image from uh, from my test data set and then printing the image and then printing the uh, prediction so let's go ahead and predict a few images so that looks like nine prediction is nine Great. Zero, prediction is zero. Let's do one more and then stop. Three, the prediction is three. So there you go. So we got 99.1% accuracy and we know what uh, our model and you can export the model and do a lot more when it comes to Autocaras. So I just wanted to spread the word about, uh, like I said, the book that I recently picked. And uh, I would say, again, if you're into application, if you're looking for automating your, uh, automating your, uh, uh, the process of uh, finding the best Keras model, then AutoKeras is the best way. And this book does a good job in providing uh, a few examples so you can get started and explore this. So thank you guys. And as usual, I request you to subscribe to my channel and keep watching these videos. And uh, let's meet again in the next, uh, next video and talk about uh, some Python code.